All right, so in this problem, we are looking for the next number in the following series. We're looking for this missing value. All right, so let's try to recognize our pattern. Let's start with our first transition from one to one. It seems like we're multiplying by one. When we move from one to two, it seems like we're multiplying by two. When we move from two to four, it seems like we're multiplying by two. And when we move from four to six, it seems like we're adding by two. And when we move from six to 18, it seems like we're multiplying by three. And when we move from 18 to 21, it seems like we are adding three. So when we look back at our pattern, it seems like we're having a combination of multiplication and addition. And so now let's start with our first transition, one to one. And it seems like we are still multiplying by one, but the transition from one to two seems like we can also be adding by one. And now this seems like more of a pattern, more of a consistent pattern, because we are combining now multiplication and addition. Every transition switches off between addition and multiplication and grows by one, meaning that here we multiplied by one, our next transition of multiplication we multiplied by two, and our next one was multiplying by three, each time growing by one, and the same thing for the addition. So now our last transition was addition, we added by three, so that means our next transition for our missing value will be multiplication. And because our last multiplication transition we did was multiplying by three, our next one will be multiplying by four, meaning that this missing value will be 21 times four, which will give us 84. And that will be our final answer.